Hi guys, uh, happy Monday morning. Um, happy Remembrance Day. I'm just giving you a little update and a little thought from what's been going on in my head. Um, it's cycle day eight. Um, I finished my Fumera pills yesterday, thank the good Lord. Um, the effect of them was stronger this cycle than last cycle, so I hopefully that means that um, more eggs grew and more eggs will be released. Um, I was really edgy. I was really um, quick to get angry. Um, a lot of cramping, a lot of back pain. I didn't have that last time, so hopefully, fingers crossed, prayer said that it worked better than last time because last cycle I only had one egg that was released um, and with Fremera it's supposed to be more than one so hopefully um, soon we'll find out. Tomorrow I start testing with the ovulation strips when I'm going to ovulate so that's exciting and um, just something else that keeps coming up is with infertility, how to be happy for other people getting pregnant when it's not you. This has been an extremely hard um, topic for me. It's something that I wanted to work through, I wanted to get better at, but I knew I couldn't do it on my own. Um, when I would hear or see on Facebook or Instagram or hear that someone was pregnant, yada, 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 um, I'd basically shut down, go into the bedroom and just mope and be poor me, poor, poor me. And to be honest, that was exhausting. It was just exhausting and nobody likes to feel like that. Nobody likes to be around people like that. And so about... I don't know, five, four or five months ago, um, I was just honest with myself and with God and just said, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to be happy for others. I want to um, rejoice in their good, good, good news and be happy for, for them and be, be able to hold their babies and go to baby showers and do all that kind of thing. Um, and then over these past four or five months, that's what's happened. Um, now it's not like I'm not sad for like five or six seconds because I am, but it's not something that where I go and mope and pout in my bedroom for the rest of the day. Um, it's about maybe a couple second, five minute thought in my head and then, and then I'm good because what God has taught me is that's not my, my journey and that's not God's story for, for me. God has a completely different story and a completely different journey for Greg and I and, and Noah than he does for, for you guys. And I need to realize that and be okay with that. And so now when people say that we're, we're pregnant, we're expecting, yeah, I feel kind of like, oh, but then it's like, no, that's their, their story and God is giving them another piece and that's awesome. That's completely awesome. And God God is still working with with us, but he's given them their next piece of the puzzle, their next gift to open. Um, so yeah, it's not easy. It's not anything on my own strength because there's no way I could have done it. Um, that's all God completely because yeah, I couldn't have done it on my own. Let me just say, um, I'm too too full of jealousy, of sin, of all that crappy stuff, um, to be able to receive someone else's joy um, because they are pregnant and they're baby shower and, and all that stuff. So um, God is good. God is still working. Um, so hopefully by the end of this week, we will know when we're having our IUI and doing all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, have an awesome Monday. Stay safe because it's snowing right here in St. Catharines. And, yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.